Hey guys, I'm gonna try to keep this concise and to the point. Now there's a lot of different points here, so I may pause and be editing. I'm gonna try to insert a video in here too, and I'll explain what that is. So I have the two LV6548s back up. And the reason being, um, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I, I installed the two EG4 6500s. Uh, the hardware was much easier to install them with. The actual inverters, um, I don't want to say, I guess junk. Uh, <laughs> they, they are not, I would not use them. So I'm not going to recommend them. And uh, actually I, I would have waited a little longer before I posted, but I wanted to make sure that I got this out in, in case anyone thought that I was actually in favor of those inverters so they make your lights strobe long story short if you have any dimmable lights even some led lights uh, dimmable switches all of them strobe constantly and i mean constantly so i'll try to insert that video um, and so you know you could say what what tech support advises people to do from uh, Signature Solar is to remove the switches and remove those dimmable lights and that way you can't see the problem that's happening all the time, which is either a feedback issue or some voltage variance. Uh, ultimately, I think that's going to affect sensitive electronics long-term, maybe even short-term, depending on what it is. They know it's a problem. They have people call about it frequently. Uh, and they, they, the advice from tier one tech support, Signature Solar, is to just remove the thing that's showing the problem. So I asked, you know, what remedies we could go through. Uh, and I can get into some of this in a later video. I said, you know, the only difference that should be is that I haven't removed the grounding screw from these EG4s. So they gave me permission to crack the case on one of them. They do not have the grounding screws installed in them anymore. So, uh, so they're not even in the grounding, new, ground neutral bond is not installed in any of the newer ones. They didn't know that uh, when they advised me of that. So I guess they are surprised at the same time about their own product. I don't know. So. I, uh, <clears throat> I asked for a refund. They said that, uh, they would send it to tier two tech support. So this is like a priest thing. You have to go through tier one to get to tier two. You can never talk to tier two directly. So I think they exist, but you can't actually talk to them directly. You can email the whole tech support, which doesn't go to them directly. You can't talk directly to them on the phone. I'm sure there's a guy in there somewhere that is tier two, but you, you can't ask to speak to them. So they never did anything. Weeks went by. I asked customer service to ask them. Basically what eventually how it ended up is you could wait, which they were never gonna do anything, or you can send them back on your own dime. So long the i guess this is a long story long story but it's not short but uh it ended up at this point i'm still emailing them but it cost me about a thousand dollars to have this experience with the eg4s and the strobing light problem uh, to me that means they're defective uh, they're called whole house inverters but you can't run your whole house on them or you need to remove some items in order to be able to run your whole house on them uh, so, you know, they have a sine wave issue, they have a voltage issue, whatever their issue is, but I, they didn't really, I would say they didn't see it that way, but I don't think they care about really anything. You, you talk to customer service, they do answer. That's the only place you can really get to answer. They do answer. They'll talk to you, uh, but they won't patch you through to one of their supervisors. Uh, if you talk to, if you do get a hold of tech support, they won't put you in to one of their supervisors. So I was caught in limbo because normally 
they're used to telling people, yeah, just take the bulbs and dimmer switches out. That They're supposed to be that way, it's normal. But since I had just removed these two units and they work just fine, I won't bother putting a video of what an actual light looks like while it doesn't strobe. It just looks like the grid, which is what these do. But I will, again, I'll, I'll, hopefully I've already inserted it somewhere in there, show you. And I should have taken a longer one, but it looked like a disco hall, man. They were blank, blinking. They're not shimmering. So some people have had that with them also to where they actually have kind of a dirty power look to them, uh, where it's just constantly shimmering, the LED lights. That's That means there's something wrong with the sign wave, if you ask me. That's what uh, generators with a bad total harmonic distortion have. But no, they these actually make it strobe up and down, up and down, up and down, constantly dimming and then going back up. So uh, they say that's perfectly no normal. <laughs> so um, to me, that means they're not. I, I, I to be to be honest, I don't understand how they could be selling them. I don't think that they. I think tier one just tech support is just programmed to say, yeah, just rip those out. And anyone above that, I think, kind of knows they have an issue and just uh, assumes. Maybe some of them even assume it's normal. But by the way, guys, MPP doesn't have that problem. Supposedly the same inverter. And that gets me into the next sub subject of Voltronic making all these inverters. Everyone says Voltronic makes all the inverters. Uh, and Voltronic is Chinese-based, right? So they have places in Taiwan and they have places in China that they manufacture plants in different ones. These are made in Taiwan. The EG4s are in China. I'm not saying that that's the problem. But if Voltronic is making both of them and one of them has all kinds of strobing and flashing problems and the other one doesn't, that would be very odd to me. So it seems like the EG4 is maybe a clone instead of just a rebrand with some modifications. I don't really know. I've heard um, it said that it could possibly be something to do with the fact that they've upped the voltage in the PV, but I don't think that has anything to do with it because of, you know, the VOC voltage, the, the voltage open circuit is way higher, it's double on the EG4s, but I never pushed those limits when I installed them. It was towards evening, there was some sun, not a bunch. So I never really reached those upper limits anyway and never would. So I hooked up same voltages, same cables, same absolutely everything to the new units and four or five hours later, I have strobing lights. When I finally get an answer from Signature Solar and I rip that trash off my wall and box it back up, I put these back up. I'm getting pretty good at it now. It only took me a couple hours. They worked perfect, no strobing. So I know what people say, Voltronics, all Voltronics, the Orient Power, Sun Gold, EG4s. I really don't think so. If, if they are, then they've got different manufacturing other than just you know upping the voltage there's some kind of cheap something they're putting in there but uh yeah not a fun experience a big uh, cost for me so just to try to get a little bit more voc so for now there's a lot more i could say about them by the way but none of it's good but for now these are great 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 units mpp seems to manufacture great units so for now i'm going to be using these and the voc issue i don't know i'm going to keep my eye out i talked to ian at watts 24 7 which by the way watts 24 7 i guess.com i don't know i could put a link down below you should he, he's got um good products there you can actually trust ian he does answer he's good tech support he'll let you know what's going on what's not going on uh great guy to deal with uh, so you know they've got some new MPP units coming up hopefully I don't know how long it takes for them you know to get through all their trial and error and stuff but hopefully he's got some new units coming up soon and I'll keep an eye out so 
if there's anything new on the MPP side of things, I'll probably use that next. Really, really like Solar because I've been looking more into them, but cost and all. So anyway, this is running way longer than I wanted it to. So we'll see how uh, I may edit some of it down <laughs> or maybe just leave it as it is and post it and then go over a, uh, you know some other items later on. I also want to show an update on my solar array, the roof the, as, used as a roof on the shed. So I may put a picture of that in here and then just have a video of it later too. Anyway, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Talk to you soon.